Hello everybody, Alex here. And uh, today we want to learn together how to install Lackey CCG and the Babylon 5 CCG plugin into Lackey. Um, as you may know, I'm playing Babylon 5 CCG through Lackey and some people in the comments asked about how to install it because it's not as um, Maybe it's not as um, easy or as uh, user-friendly as many people would like to have it. So this is the way of me showing you how to download it, how to install it, and how to make it work on your computer. So let's switch onto my desktop. So um, if you all you have to do is to go to the uh, www. <laughs> dot lackeyccg.com um, the website is easy to find and you can easily find your lackey installation file on the in the upper left corner uh, i'm using windows so i will be downloading lackey ccg for windows so i'm clicking on it it's asked me to uh, download the zip file um, lackey ccg is not um, a real like an installation file it's just a folder you have to download and place somewhere onto your um onto your disk so it's a zip file with all the files you need uh to run lackey so just i created on on my desktop i created a folder which i'm using to save this simple file it's as you can as you uh, have seen it's only 12 megabytes so it's not as big so this is my lackey ccg file and when i'm opening it i will extract it yeah for example so i have my lackey ccg extracted files from the zip file you can use winzip you can use whatever uh program i'm yeah, i'm using 7-zip 7-zip to do so um now you have to I, I, when you open the uh folder all the files are here, which can be, which I have to be used to run Lackey. I don't know specifically if it has to be or if it's just me and I, maybe I have read it in some other or there was uh, there were some um, previous uh, tutorials I have read and what I'm doing, I'm just copying it, Control C, uh, the whole folder, and I will be placing it on my C drive, uh, just into the root folder of the C drive. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm not sure if this is um, a needed situation or a needed, uh, but I would advise to it. I've never used it in another folder, so I hope this is okay for everybody. Um, yeah, now you can enter, and um, there is your Lackey CCG, and there is a Lackey CCG updater. I, I would suggest you just run the updater and see how it works and uh, what does it say to you, what it, what it does say to you. I open on my other screen, so this is how it looks, very easy. Um, and you just click install or update, uh, which actually just updates some files. It doesn't really install it anywhere. At least, at least I think it doesn't. Yeah, see, there's something coming up and it shows you what files it downloads to have it all, what you need to play your favorite CCG game. So wait a moment, this is not gonna last long just a couple of files and you can run this from time to time to see if you are on the actual like valid version on the uh, yeah that's it um you can view the website which is the website here or you can launch like eccg um but i did try it before with this button and didn't work so i just close it and i will run the lackey ccg here welcome to lackey it says welcome to lackey and this is the window you get. Okay, this is the window. Maybe you know it already from my uh, some of the games I have on my uh, on my channel on YouTube. Um, it says it asks you to view tutorials if you want to, or start start a game plugin installer wizard, which it didn't work for me. So don't bother. <laughs> Ask me later. And don't show it startup. I just click don't show it startup if you don't want to. And it has several, uh, the lackey window is divided into several tabs. 
which are important. And the first tab you need to uh, address is the plugin tab. Uh, the Lackey CCG engine is just uh, a framework which can be used to play any type of CCG game there is a plugin for. And uh, for Babylon 5, there is a plugin. Some people created a plugin and did all the work necessary to actually do this. So you click on the plugin tab and go to the, uh, and as we all already know what to do, <laughs> we just go to the uh, auto paste, uh, auto update URL. What is it? Uh, the auto update URL is a, is a way of telling Lackey CCG what kind of game you are playing and what the main settings for the game are. And it also provides you with all the necessary windows and stuff. So um, I have already the necessary update list, which is here, which I will just copy. And I will also post it in the description of the video. So if you open up the description of the video below the video, you will have the update list there. You just, you just copy the whole thing, you know? And then you open the lackey and you paste it, control V, uh, into the auto update URL field and click on install or update from URL. And as you can see, it uh, downloads the necessary files like backgrounds and some, some tokens and stuff like that. And also does like uh, preliminary stuff, like there's master packs and stuff like that. So this is good. And it says, uh, and it asks you if the, it just, it's just like this. And it asks you load Babylon 5 plugin now. And yes, we do want to do that. So we just say yes, please. Okay. And you already have the Babylon 5 CCG card backside on the on the game tab when you when you look now into the deck editor oh by the way you can see that plugin uh, colon babylon 5 is already loaded loaded so that's what you want to have and you switch into deck editor you will find all the cards here and as you can see not the the card images do not show and suddenly they show because like he actually just downloads the cards you really need. It doesn't have any cards preloaded. Uh, only after you just come across a new card like this one, yeah, this one, and it just takes a couple of like a split of a second to load the card, and it already is in your memory of your drive, and then you can you just use it. So once you use one card, it already is in your in your lackey. Good. So. Um, that's the main thing, you know, you downloaded Lackey, installed it, <laughs> copied it on your hard drive, and um, you downloaded the plugin for Babylon 5 CCG. Uh, from here on, you just need to create your own deck and then uh, connect to a server. Okay? Um, before connecting to server, you must first set your name. Okay, you can do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Set your name here. So let's say Babcom or Alex in my case. Okay. And um, yeah, you can save player profile. Oh, there's a player profile here. Uh, let me. Uh, we are in the preferences, by the way. Sorry. And then when you switch to server, you just connect to the matching server. Okay. You're connected. Now you can browse the games and you can see this is my Babylon 5 uh, plugin in, in the game. And if you want to host the game, you just play, put host, host the game and just say OK and set how many people there are. Um, but we don't want to do that yet. Um, we do want to go to the deck editor and get our deck online. Uh, what you need to see is there are three tabs here. So you will, you will have to figure out what cards you need in your deck, what cards you need in your Crusade pile and one cards you need in your starting hand. Okay. Um, when you will have some decks, if you want a new deck, you click on the new deck. If you open recent, there are no recent decks here. Um, so we can just a quick one. I want to search for something? So uh, this is a uh, London Malari. Um, so let's say that we have a uh... ah the gambler. Who else? 
starting one hand, uh, one card in a hand, and you want, I don't know, Ragesh, just to have, oh, yeah, you're actually starting with no hand, <laughs> no open hand, so there's just one card in your open hand as a, as a, as the gambler, so that's easy. Okay, super. And then your deck, for example, so you can put some cards into your deck, so, so Ragesh or whatever, you know, and you fill it up. Clear, level the playing field, for example, three times, whatever, meditation, yeah, okay, three times, whatever. So you fill up your, your deck, your crusade pile, and your starting hand. Don't forget to put all your cards which you need at the starting point in your starting hand. I would also suggest to put in the tension tracker into as you can see you can also drag and drop stuff you know so i would put in also the tension tracker because that's the card which you use to track tensions in the game so that's also a probably preliminary um okay and is, if you are already done you just put your wonder test or gambler or whatever gambler and say save deck don't forget to do that <laughs> And if you are going to a game, you then can, uh, let me see, uh, go for main menu, I think it was. And then you go to, oh. I think it's only working when you are in a server. So you have to connect to a server first, create a game, and then it allows you to actually, maybe not. I don't know, isn't it? Load recent deck, there it is. Okay. Oh, you can't, you can't see it because there is me. Here. Okay, one, one second. I'll just move myself to your side. Nice. So there is a possibility here to go to load recent deck. And just take the deck you loaded. I mean, I'll do it like a the uh, right click on the mouse, load the recent deck, my deck. So. And you can see that the starting hand is here. So that's what your starting hand will be. And if you want to move it, you just use always like the right mouse click and, and for example, move all to the top of hand. And then you have it in your hand, nobody else sees it. And that's your deck here. Don't forget to shuffle it because somehow the, it does not really shuffle well. So shuffle it several times. <laughs> and then you can play, you know, you, you put your cards onto the game board wherever you want. Um, you use la right mouse click to get some, you know, excess damage to characters and, and to add intelligence counters and whatever. So um, just use, go on and, and do some, do some testing and, and, and working around how, how to use the software. Uh, by the way, um, there are some tutorials on the on the CCG website, so on the Lucky website. So if you want to if you want to know how it's gonna uh, how it's played, getting started with Lucky CCG, it, there is a tutorial online on YouTube. You can easily watch it there and and get to know the main uh, main main uh, functions of the software. It's a it's a good start, I would say. So, um, to re recap. Easy, download the Lackey CCG for your computer type or OS type, um, install it, copy it onto your hardware, uh, hard, hard drive, and uh, run it. Um, and in the software, just, just copy in the uh, update list URL, which I will post in the description of the video, and um, up you go. Yeah, there is not much else to do. <laughs> Unless uh, you want to, no, I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all you need to know. Uh, if you should have any questions, just post them in the uh, in the comments. I will certainly come back to them and answer every one of those. Um, yeah, if you want to play, uh, let me also know. I am thinking of doing maybe once a time maybe like a open call for new players who want to learn the game and try maybe a, a basic game with some starter decks you know we could do that and it would be fun i think with new players from all around the world online so
So feel free and um, let me know how you how you enjoyed it. Thank you and see you soon.